Hey guys, what's up? Sermo11 here. Um, kind of ran out of some topics to do. Well, not really ran out. I just haven't really been working on the topics. But I do have a few different topics for videos and stuff. And then I have a top 10 list, which will be coming out, um, I guess, throughout my winter break. I actually finished my finals for school and stuff today. And, I mean, might as well make a video. So, last video of the Attack on Titan discussion tried to basically... It was a discussion off the top of my head, and then I took that and I tried to make it construct a little bit constructive and didn't turn out too well. Sam and Cat and then the other Attack on Titan video, I think those went pretty well. So, I'm just going to talk about Pokemon Light Platinum, which is a hack of, I believe it's Ruby. It's a hack of Ruby or Fire Red, something around that generation. And there's also another hack called Pokemon Ash Gray, which I want to try out, but I can't seem to get it on my iPod. So basically the whole process is that um, you search for this thing called a GB, GBA for iOS, and you put that on your iPod, iPhone, whatever. To install it, you have to change the time back to, uh, I think it's past, it's like past July or June of 2011. You have to be like um, before that date, and then you can um, put the emulator on there and that's how you use the emulator whenever you want to use it now if you have a phone it's pretty easy because the time will update um, once you change it back but if you have like an iPod or something I don't know if you want to do that on the go if you want to like keep up with the time and the date and everything I'll keep I think it'll keep the same time but it won't keep the same date so yeah um it's uh yeah it's hack of ruby it has different graphics and stuff like this is a really good hack you know the person just took their time um, you know with certain hacks they only change a few things there's like it looks completely different I've heard that there are two regions in this game um, graphics are cool it's an original story they have Arceus in it they have Kyogre um, what's the other one Groudon you know it centers around Arceus which is cool um, it actually has Pokemon from fifth generation now I don't know how I don't know how this guy pulled it off I just don't know how but this is awesome that's one of the things that really attracted me to it I was in math class and my friend Holden showed it to me I was like wait a minute there's a fifth generation he had like a scrafty or something on his team I was like whoa what's going on and I like downloaded it that day and it's pretty awesome um, I'm not even that far into it I'm just talking about it I think it's pretty cool there's some anime stuff in there. There's an anime character in there. You can probably guess who it is. So, yeah. And I just love this game because of these, like, classical graphics. Well, for me, this is kind of classical because I started with Pokemon, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I started around that generation. I don't know which game I started with because I own all three somehow. And, um, you know, these graphics just, like, are my favorite Pokemon graphics. You know, we have Pokemon, uh, black and white black and white too we have x and y those graphics are cool and everything but i feel like 2d sprites are always better um even with the new graphics and x and y i just like these graphics more and i can already tell this is going to be awesome i've heard great things about this i've heard the story is amazing um so yeah and i heard you can get like different stars and stuff i just still don't know how this person pulled it off putting fifth generation pokemon into a game now, I hope the creator, you know, we have Pokemon X and Y out now. You can make another another hack, and you can, if you can program, um, or you can just build off of this hack, and you can program X and Y, Pokemon from X and Y into there. Or, you know, like once X and Y is over, maybe once they release the third version, you could do that. I think that would be pretty cool. And, um, if you're playing this on like an emulator on your phone or iPod or um, Android, I believe there's going to be a problem with the sound because of the emulator, but there is another emulator coming out, the GBA for iOS 2.0, which will, I, my friend Holden told me it's coming out in December. I'm not sure on that one, but um, it won't have any sound problems, and I believe you can transfer your games um, from this emulator, from the previous emulator to this new emulator. And, I mean, I might have some images of the game up, but that's about it Pokemon light platinum it's awesome I want to try ash gray but ash gray has um, basically the the creator of ash gray took like the stories from the anime and put them into um, a game I don't know if that'll work out too well but anyway anyway
anyways, um, Pokemon Light Platinum, it's awesome stuff. Uh, I want to try to get Floral Sky and Ash Gray on my iPod. If you have any links for that, just tell me. Um, if you're downloading this on an, like a mobile device, like your iPod or something, I would say I definitely recommend using like Media Fire. That's normally like the best place to download something. There's nothing stupid or anything. Cause I was trying to download Ash Gray and I could never find it. So yeah, later. Or you can use like cool ROMs, but yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Description. Bye. So I know what I forgot. Um, since this topic is just like off the top of my head, like a few notes and stuff. Um, it's probably better on the PC. Just saying, if you play any emulators on the PC, there won't be any sound problems or anything. So if you want the best experience, you can try it on the PC. But it's more convenient for me to have it on my iPod. And I don't think I want to put an emulator on my computer. I'm not too sure if I have the best virus protection in the world, so, yeah, but that's about it. I'm out. Peace.